hello and welcome back to this step-by-step -step HTML tutorial for beginner series and in this video we are going to learn about link bookmarking on a single page so that whenever anyone will click on a specific link they will be redirected to a specific section of your web page so let me show you a real example of how it works so here this is one of my demo portfolio website and if I just scroll a little bit down and you'll find these menu options now let's say I am on the home page as you can see now I want to visit portfolio section or the contact section by one single click so here we have got this menu now if I just click on this contact it is directly going to take me into the contact page now we want to see my service section so let's click on service section it is going to take you to the service section automatically so now we are going to learn how to do these stuffs into our own websites alright so let's just omit it out and we have built this website from the scratch throughout these tutorials if you have missed any one of these videos I'm going to attach the link into the video description for you so that you'll be able to start from there so without further ado let me take you to the codes and then first thing we have to do is we have to take an unordered list just under this heading section here okay so let's move on I'm going back to the code and then let's take this one is the heading one so I'm going to give an enter and then we are going to get the unordered list tag so let's put angle bracket and then ul which specifies the unordered list and then hit enter so that we'll have the starting tag of unordered list and the ending tag of unordered list now hit enter in between here so that we'll have some space to add our links or sorry list items so let's give the angle bracket and then we are going to put li and that hit enter so that you'll have the starting tag and closing tag of list items and now we are going to copy and paste these things let me copy and paste all right and I am now going to give the names as they're on our website for this each, each of these sections so here the first one is software and web development and for the example purpose I'm actually going to take the web development only so it will look nicer on our web page so let's say web Devo DVLOP MENT and after that we have got let me check it out entrepreneurship so I'm going to copy this one because this is a little bit harder uh, <laughs> to write so let's move on and then I'm going to take the third one which is copywriting so I'm going to take copywriting I'm going to put it in between the list item uh, tag and then I'm going back and technical skills and then we have got the last one which is going to be web design okay which we are actually currently learning so that's a great thing to have here so now if I just save it save this document then we are going to visit our web page here and we're going to get an unordered list added here so let's reload this page and just take a look we have got an unordered list appeared here so we are going to learn more about these unordered list and navigation menus in our very soon coming video so let's stay connected and it's time to give links to these unordered lists so that whenever someone will click on them they will be redirected to any of these sections okay so let's do that first of all we have to go back to our codings and then we have to take IDs for each of these sections okay each of these list items so let's go for them for web development we are going to take an ID into this part as you can see uh, list software and web development so let's take an ID which is a CSS thing so we are going to learn more about these things in our future videos as well so let's hit enter so that we will have this syntax ID equal to double quotation okay and in between we have to give the property and the value so as we want to get the ID I'm going to give here web underscore and then development as the ID and then I'm going to give ID for the second list which is entrepreneurship I'm going to give the ID here ID equal to double quotation then entrepreneurship and let's make it small letter and then go for the next list item which is copywriting so let's take copy sorry w r i t i n g copywriting oh i didn't given the id here id equal to colon and then colon after this okay and then we have to go for the fourth id and this one let's say tech skills or tech skills and then we have got the fifth item which I I want to 
uh, identify as let's say sorry id web design okay web underscore design now if i just save this file we are going to see no difference in our website let's reload this page and there is no difference but we are going to make the difference just right now by writing some codes okay so let's go a little bit up and now we have to add linkings into these unordered lists okay so these will be linked clickable and then we'll visit these sections so let's go for it we are going back to the code and we're going to take anchor text just after the list item okay so let's take uh, give the angle bracket and then anchor angle bracket and then close the angle bracket after the web development text by hitting angle bracket forward slash and a then angle bracket all right and let's give the hyper reference here in the first tag of angle bracket h r e f and then we have to provide the value which is going to be the actually the id so we are going to take write this id here but one difference we have to type hash which defines that we are going to call an id so as their id they are going to be here okay so we are going to place web underscore development and this is the id which we have set it here and now we have to do the same thing for the rest of the contents here so let's go for it i'm going to take anchor anchor ending and then href we have got the id for this entrepreneurship which is as you can see entrepreneurship so let's give this one again entrepreneurship and go for the third one we have got anchor and then the close anchor tag and then hyper reference in the starting tag then what we have given here for the third uh, id copywriting okay so let's give copy writing and then we have to take an anchor for the fourth list anchor closed and then we have to give the hyper reference and we have given the name as you can see tag hyphen skills so let's go to the top tag sorry tag hyphen skills okay and then we have to give the anchor here and close it here sorry anchor closed and then we have to provide href attribute and then the value here the last one was web underscore design web underscore design all right so we are all done now if i just save this document you are going to see a magic here and which is going to be just like this they are clickable now as you can see now let's say i want to visit technical skills for the first time okay so let's click on technical skills oops your file was not found and the reason because is we missed something so let's go back to our code and just take a look for the first entry or for the first list item we have provided the id with hash but we have missed to provide hash here for rest of these four uh, items here so let's give hash 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 and then hash all right so they are all good now if i just save this file and let's reload this page again okay so just let's go back and then we are going to click on copywriting again and it is going to take us to the targeted or the selected uh, area as you can see from the top we have just visited copywriting again copywriting okay so let's say i want to visit web design by the single click just take a look web design and digital marketing so this is how link bookmarking works and we are going to learn more interesting thing in our future videos so stay connected and if you have missed my previous videos of this tutorial or playlist then please check them out i'm going to attach the link into the video description for you so that you'll be able to start from the beginning and obviously i'm going to attach this source code into the video description for you so that you'll be able to get some idea if you're confused by checking them out so please check out the description field as well so i believe you have found some great value from this video and if you did please give this video a like let me know your opinion by commenting below share this video to help your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more web designing web development tutorials in coming days i have to see in the next video thank you very much for watching